to this special multiplayer DVD version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Your chance to try your luck in that famous hot seat and compete against your family or friends to be the first to reach the magical million pound mark and the chance, of course, to win a family holiday to Universal Mediterranean. Now, all you need is your DVD remote control. You can move around the screen and make your choices by using the up, down, left, right and enter buttons. It really couldn't be simpler. Right, if you're ready, let's play. Right, here we go. Let's go over the rules, although I'm sure you're familiar with them all by now. You are 15 correct answers away from winning a virtual million pounds. Now, as always, you can walk away at any time. And if you do get stuck, then you have the usual three lifelines. There's 50-50. You can phone a friend, or of course you can ask the audience. Okay, if you're ready, all you need to do now is select the number of players, and we can play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Right, you have 15 questions and three lifelines. The very best of luck. Let's play. Okay, for 100 quid, here's question number one. That's great, it's the right answer. Have a look at question number two. It's worth 200 quid. Absolutely correct. Well played. Here's question number three. It's worth £300. Jolly good. It's the right answer. Remember, a wrong answer here and you will leave with nothing. I'm sure that won't happen. Question number four. Absolutely correct. Well played. Now, get the next question correct and you'll leave with at least a thousand pounds. Good luck. Here comes question number five. Yes, that's the right answer. You've reached the first milestone, that's £1,000. Now, have a look at question six, because it could double your money to 2000 The Camelot theme park in Lancashire is based on which historical period? Victorian, Stone Age, Medieval, or Tudor? That's correct. Well done. Here comes question number seven out of a possible 15. It's worth £4,000. Good luck. In the Beano comic, which is the dog Nasher's favourite son? Nibbler, Nipper, Nutter, Nightmare. It's absolutely correct. Well done. OK, 
Okay, if you choose the right answer to the next question, you can double your money to £8,000. Let's have a look at question 8 of 15. What name was given to German torpedo boats in World War II? A boats, E boats, C boats, X boats. No looking up the answer now. Yes, that's the right answer. Right, the jumps are starting to get a lot bigger now. Here is question nine for a possible £16,000. In which diving position do you bend at the waist and keep your legs straight? Straight, tuck, pike or twist? So, you decided to ask the audience. Well, now, let's hope that they can help. Audience, on your keypads, please. All vote now. <laughs> Wonderful, it's the right answer. OK, this is where the drops start to get steeper. Get the next question wrong and you lose £15,000. But get it right and you win 32000 guaranteed. The Turner Prize is open to British artists under what age? 25, 40, 50 or 35? That's absolutely correct. Well done. Right, question number 11 is worth £64,000. You would still walk away with 32000 even if you got it wrong. But let's hope you don't. From which film does the line, I guess that was your accomplice in the wood chipper, come? Raising Arizona, Blood Simple, The Big Lebowski, or Fargo? Have you got any inkling at all? Jolly good, it's the right answer. Right, the next question is worth a whopping £125,000. It's number 12 of a possible 15. Take your time, it's a lot of money. Which TV company made the Prime Suspect series starring Helen Mirren? Thames, Granada, Carlton, London Weekend. Congratulations, that's the right answer. Right, now just take your time and relax. The next question is number 13 of a possible 15. If you answer and you're wrong, you drop back to 32,000 pounds. Here's the question for a quarter of a million. In June 2003, which racing team won its first Le Mans 24 hours race since 1930? Bugatti, Bentley, BMW or Buick? OK, let's phone a friend. Now, who do you think might be able to help you choose the right answer? I'm not totally certain. Perhaps D. It would be a guess, I'm afraid. I may very well be out of my debts here. Good luck. <laughs> No problems there, that's the right answer. This is now getting very, very serious. You are just two correct answers away from winning one million pounds. But if you give me a wrong answer here, you will lose 218,000 pounds. Not good. Have a look at question number 14 
but think very carefully about what you want to do. Where was the actor Richard E. Grant born? South Africa, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, or Swaziland? That's the right answer. It's going really well so far. Fantastic, you have played a brilliant game so far and now you have 500,000 pounds. But we would really like to give you one million. Take as long as you need. Here comes the million pound question. Which of these does not appear as the main feature on the reverse of a British one pound coin? Leak, thistle, flax, Rose. Right, computer, we need a bit of help here. Take two of the answers away and hopefully make things a bit easier. Well, you could have walked away with half a million pounds. But instead, you'll be walking away with one million pounds. That's the right answer. Fantastic. What a tremendous game. All 15 questions answered correctly. Well done. You are a virtual millionaire. Congratulations. Now, for a chance of jetting off for a fabulous holiday to Universal Mediterranean, all you have to do is write this special win code on the postcard provided and send it to us in the post. It couldn't be easier. Good. Well done and thank you for playing. Who wants to be a millionaire?